Hello everyone! In this video, we'll be learning how to set the following attributes for a transition. Transition name, transition owner, transition criteria, transition properties, and actions. The screen that we see now is a blueprint to manage the hiring process at an organization. It helps HR track and manage a candidate's status. To modify the transition name, click on the transition and the Edit Transition window will slide in. You can modify the transition name here. Any changes made in the Edit Transition tab will be auto-saved. Next, there are two parts to a transition. Before and after. You can configure a transition owner, set criteria to display the transition options based on a condition, and enable properties from the Before tab. The After part lets you configure the actions that get executed after a transition. Let's look at each one of them in more detail. Transition owners are the users who can perform a transition. You can allow everyone to perform a transition or grant access to select users. On choosing specific users, there are three categories based on which you can provide access. The Users tab lets you select individual people as users of the application. The second option will list the permission sets in the app. When you select a permission, the users with the permission chosen will gain access to perform the transition. And finally, the Fields section will display all the user fields of the app. When you select a field, the users in that field will be eligible to perform the transition. For demonstration, let's select a user from the Users tab and make them the transition owner. On accessing the app, the transition option will only be visible to them. Next, let's move on to the transition condition. Criteria are the conditions which determine when a transition owner can perform a transition. Always is the default setting. Choose the On Condition option if you want to display the button only for specific requirements. You can add logic here using OR and AND expressions. For AND, every criterion must be true. For OR, at least one of the criteria must be true. Let's assume a requirement where the selected user should be able to accept applications only for the programmer role. In that case, we can define a condition as applying for equals programmer. Now let's access the candidate application report from the transition owner's account. We have two records here, one for the programmer role and the other for the project manager. For this record, the transition reviewed and accepted is not available. In contrast, the user will be able to shortlist the first candidate as they have applied for the programmer role. That's exactly what we defined in the condition. You can use conditions based on your business requirements. Now we've come to the tooltip message. You can set a piece of text as a hint for transition owners. This message will be displayed when the user hovers over the transition button in the Live app. There's also an option to set custom confirmation alerts that will prompt an alert box for the user before performing the transition. All the attributes discussed until now occur before the user performs the transition. Now let's see what can be done after the transition gets executed. This section lets you configure actions that get executed after a transition. Let's configure an action for the recruitment process. Assume we require the user to enter comments after approving a candidate. In the live application, we have a Review Comments form with a Comments field. We can create a workflow to collect the comments on this form after they perform the transition. Let's configure the action to display the form after the transition. These are the various actions that you can configure on a transition. In this case, the requirement is to collect the comments through a form. To do that, first select the Deluge script and define the logic using an open URL task. This script will open a Review Comments pop-up. Save the script. Now access the application and proceed to accept a candidate. After accepting, the stage will get converted and the text box will appear where the user can enter their comments. This is the action that we defined using the Deluge script. You can also add multiple actions, such as sending an email notification to the shortlisted candidate, updating candidate status on the recruitment portal, and much more. 
We hope this video helped you learn more about the various attributes of a transition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.